wanted to write you a platypus song. So I sat on the banks of an old billabong and decided to wait till one came along so that I could describe it to you. But you know, platypi are incredibly shy. And I waited an age for one to swim by. The stars were beginning to appear in the sky. I was just about ready to leave. When suddenly there was a plop in the water and a shape appeared. The ripple spread and as it neared, a head bobbed up and two eyes peered. A platypus at last. The platypus is a magical creature, because when you examine it feature by feature, it seems Mother Nature is out to defeat you, and trying to describe it at all. She's an excellent swimmer, she glides as she goes, aided by flippers attached to her toes. And where there should be a nose, there's a thing, I suppose, that could best be described as a beak. But don't be misled, she isn't a bird. Though she's hatched from an egg, she's not fed that she's furred. She's at home in the water, but as far as I've heard, she lives in a hole in the ground. An amazing assortment of pieces and bits, though it doesn't seem possible, you have to admit, that somehow or other, the pieces all fit in a marvellous thing called a platypus. <laughs>